Hi guys, Angelfish Keeper here, and today I'm gonna just do a quick video because I've just set up a new marine tank or saltwater aquarium. Uh, the tank's made by Aqua One, which is an Australian company, but they're quite popular over here in Europe. I mean, I'm in the UK and they're quite popular here. I'm not too sure if you can get them in the States, unless you get them like shipped over from either Europe or Australia. Um, they shouldn't be impossible to get a hold of, but they do make really great tanks, salt water or fresh water, whatever you're into. The tank itself is an 18 inch cube. It's 18 inches tall, 18 inches front to back, and it's 18 inches long. Uh, it holds around 80 litres, I think it was, it was 80, 85 litres, something like that. So it's not too big and it's not too small. It's not my first marine tank, so it's not like I'm starting off with a tank that's too small. Uh, the tank itself is just running an internal filter and an internal heater. So it's not sumped, it's not drilled or anything like that, but I'm not going to be planning on doing anything major with this. And if I do in the future, I can always upgrade the equipment and anything like that. It's got a hang on the back protein skimmer. This is the Aqua One Nano Skim 40, which is working away there it's not going to be taken out much because i literally just filled the tank up yesterday which is why it's still cloudy from the live sand it's got a small wave maker in there i'm not too sure on the make it's not a um a well-known brand i think it's just like a cheap make but i have got this eheim wave maker to put on in a minute i'm going to do that after the video Set at 24 degrees, slightly cooler than you would have a tropical aquarium. And I'm not too sure what I'm going to put in here. I'm thinking obviously a pair of clownfish, but I'm not too sure what kind. Uh, and then obviously all your others. I've got the live sand in there, really nice fine grain. Uh, I haven't got any rock at the moment because I can't decide whether I want to go for live rock or dry rock. I mean, because I've got the live sand, I might just go for dry rock. Dry rock, like the Carib Sea life rock, is usually the one I usually go for because it's already purple and stuff like that. It's a man-made rock, so you're not going to get any nasty pests coming in on the rock. Um, it's just going to take a while for it to become live rock. But it will over time. It shouldn't take too long. Obviously, I've got an algae magnet on there just to clean the glass. I will get some turbo snails and stuff, clean up crew. I've just got a single channel, single colour LED light on there. It's just got whites. It's got no blues or anything. So once I get into like coral and stuff like that, I'm just going to go for fish only to start. Then down the line I'll put coral in and I'm going to upgrade the light. I'm going to go for like an AI Prime, something like that. It's probably one of the cheapest of the high-end lights without going like too high. I mean, they're probably around 250, 300 pounds until you get into like the max spec lights or anything like that, which is like double the price. So I'm just running this on it for now as it's just going to be fish. They're going to be fine with that. To basically run the tank, I've got an air pump in the back here, and that's actually running the wooden air stone that's inside the protein skimmer, which is what's creating the foam. And for the protein skimmer, I've got like a collection box there. So this piece of airline runs from the collection cup on like an overflow, and it goes down that little hole there when the water level gets too much. And then it just fills that box and I'll just need to empty that every now and then. I've got a Red Sea refractometer so I can test the salinity. It's more accurate than having a hydrometer which you just dip in the water and it's got like a swing needle and you just read it off that. As it's got a part of the numbers are in green and as long as you're within that range you're good whereas this will tell you exactly. You want it to be about 1.026. Um, when you got your coral and stuff like that. Fish is anywhere from like 1.20 to 1.027. I wouldn't really go any higher than that. 
I have some coral supplements. I've got iodide, strontium, and calcium, all made by Seachem. I've got some Waterlife 8.3 buffer. That is what you need to put into the RO water to get the pH to the right level before you put it in your tank. Because normally when you're doing salt water, you don't need to put buffer in because the salt has a buffer in it, which will buffer the pH. For my salt, I'm using the Red Seas Red Sea Salt because it hasn't got the elevated levels of magnesium, calcium and alkalinity, which the Coral Pro Salt has. I've got some Ocean Nutrition Formula One fish food, which has quite big flakes. I've got a saltwater fish only net. I've got some Red Seas Aptasia X just as a precaution. I've got some Red Seas Norpox, which I will use anyway, even if I don't have phosphates or nitrates. Keeps them down. And I've got Red Seas Coral Nutrition A and B, which is just like a, it's just basically like a beginner's like coral food, kind of like an all round thing. So you're not like having to have several different things to dose. You can just kind of dose that and it will feed everything. Uh, as of equipment, that's pretty much it. The filter's actually at the moment just running a sponge and some, is it Purigen? Let me just check. Matrix. Seekem Matrix, that's what I'm running in the filter. It's a biological media. Controls ammonia nitrate and nitrate. I've just got that in there. And yeah. As there's no, there's, I haven't got the rock or the fish at the moment just because obviously with this coronavirus it's really hard to get out and I hope everybody's staying safe during all this. I'm hopefully going to try and get out either tomorrow after I've tested my water and try and get some fish in there. Um, but yeah, I'm keeping myself busy. I managed to paint my room actually. I managed to get the four foot tank resealed. I've moved the angelfish aquarium. I'm actually going to get some more angelfish as well. I'm going to get some platinum angels have decided to go in there. And I actually think I'm doing the big tank as a planted discus tank once I get that filled back up with water, which should be within the next week or so. So yeah, uh, just let, I would like you to know in the comments what fish you would put in here and what rock would you go for? Would you go for dry or would you go for live? So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Bye.